Alright, hey everybody, Phil here and Ice Center, and today we are going to be back with some Castle Crashers. Finally, moving on with this game so it can be finished. Those of you new to the channel, this is a let's play I've been doing for quite some time now. And uh, because of technical difficulties, this had to have been restarted. So let's just go ahead and move on. Last time, we fought on Medusa's Lair, and we were uh, an entirely separate character. So... Uh, before I move on too far, uh, what happened was, as just mentioned a few seconds ago, technical difficulties and all that stuff, um, has made me lose my character, uh, my Green Knight character, for, I believe it's the third time now. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys will understand, I really can't manage to get this far into the game again. Uh, I've had it already do it three times now. So we're just going to be playing as the Red Knight or the Lightning Knight here. As you may have already told from the title, since the title in this series specifies that we were playing as the Green Knight for quite some time. This time it's going to say uh, Lightning Knight or Poison Knight or uh, whatever I bloody want it to feel like. So, to explain this guy's magic really quick, he is insanely overpowered. The Red Knight is by far the best magic in the game because of that. Now... I did have to unequip some of the stuff that I'm used to playing with this guy because it was uh, it was weapons that we've yet to see yet, and I really don't want to spoil those. Even though like uh, it's probably going to be in the very, 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 very near future, since we only have a few stages left in the final bosses, which. Uh, I don't know, I still have to keep these videos relatively short. You can see we don't do very much melee damage at all. I'm more of a, I'm actually a very heavily magic focused character. Uh, I'll probably show off my stats before the beginning of this video anyways. So the Red Knight thing probably wasn't that big of a shocker or I could just show it after we finish up with this part. So this was the motherfucker that was throwing, throwing? <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since uh, I've commentated much of anything. Uh, so it's been a while, wait. What? No, that's not what I meant to say. So that was the guy who was throwing the uh, boulders at us. Here is um, the Gladiator. I believe it's the Gladiator sword. It does critical damage. Uh, it's a pretty good sword. It's actually really comparable to the one I have right now, uh, except for the fact that this one doesn't do crits. Uh, I think this one still has more defense, though. I think this one has two more defense, to be exact. And I am a very uh, defense and magic oriented character, as you probably should be with the Red Knight, of all things. Um, most of them really don't matter what you do with. The Red Knight definitely is that one that uh, really is magic. So you'll see me using a lot of magic here. Uh, I have beaten the game with this character, by the way, so hardcore mode is a thing. I know I said I may do that at the beginning of this project, but how Castle Crash has been looking lately is just really, ugh, I don't know. I could be doing the ultimate combo, well no you can't, not against uh, the heavy class Castle Crashers like this, so yeah. I'm glad to finally be back into this series actually, I've been kind of missing Castle Crashers, I just randomly got the urge to oh my god get the fuck in my way i just randomly got the urge to record a few minutes ago uh uploading that liberty launcher video i did a few days ago i've been uploading a lot of tf2 lately so i've kind of been re-enjoying tf2 as a whole for no good reason really these guys are hard to kill they have a lot of health and i'm not using my magic as much as i probably should or as effectively uh i've been playing green knight a lot and the last time i played this game i was the green knight so just to show off some of his other magic here, he, he's like all of the other four Castle Crashers. I have his jump unlocked, I have all of the magic for him unlocked. I think this is one of the characters that I just kind of convinced myself, like, uh, there's no reason to max out magic, but I'm sure there's a damn good reason to have maxed out magic. So you may be asking yourself for the final area of the game, how on earth are you going to manage to pull off something like that when you have a full magic character? Let let me worry about that since, uh, like I said, I've beaten the game with this guy before. It wasn't too terribly hard. I love it when the gladiators randomly do that because enemies will sometimes just be like, yo, what's up you guys? I want to see what all the electricity is about. And they'll just run into your electric stream. Ugh, electric stream, that's dirty. If you have the key gauntlet and the um, keyblade, why'd I call it a gauntlet? If you have the keyblade, you um, 
you can unlock an item here. I should be showing off all the secrets, but I seriously don't care. At the end of this LP, I'll show off my sword library that has a lot of them unlocked. Uh, slowly seeing some of these snow guys. These are just uh, the carbon copy bandit people. See, look at that. He just walked right into it. What I love about the Eskimo people, or the Inuits as we in America so um, selfishly call them, are juggleable, as you just see me. Uh, every time I get a hold of them, I can do my usual up against a wall combo. You can't do that with these guys. They don't bounce. Uh, as you can see here, they're just too damn hefty. Too, oh my god, that was, that was a lot of damage. They just don't bounce. And uh, this follower I have here, I don't know if I've explained it yet, but uh, the key that you get is what unlocks this guy at the back of the ship. Oh, I haven't explained this guy yet. I accidentally picked someone. Okay, so how you get this guy, since I have him, uh, if you bring the Cardinal to this location, he will pull out a keyblade. If you take that key and you have it equipped and you take it to the back of the Ark, you can unlock the Beholder. He is a plus two to your magic ability. There's nothing in there. So now we get to fight more of these Inuit guys. Uh, sadly, not enough of them, though. The next areas coming up are going to be absolutely filled with these Inuit motherfuckers. Or, I think I said the racial slur wrong, but you get it. I'm not racist toward Inuits. I don't understand people who's, like, obscurely racist like that. It doesn't make any sense. Like, what has an Eskimo ever did have? What's an Eskimo ever done to you? I mean, have you even ever seen an Eskimo? I don't think I've seen an Eskimo before. I don't know. I hear a lot of people do it. Uh, rocks, one mile, swamp, 96 miles. Wow, brr. This game has a lot of really funny humor. So moving on to the next area, this ice area. There's a lot of hidden treasure here. Now we get to fight some of our um, snow friends here. You get to see the full potential of them. We'll be fighting pretty much exclusively these guys for the rest of the game as we save the ice princess. And we have that whole debauchery to go through. The, the game's... Not long for this world after this part. Alright, so we can get three of these guys. Let's see, look at that. It seems like they move faster when they're moving into your magic for some reason. Maybe that's me. I don't I don't know. It only really happens with this guy since he has he is the one person that has continually continually firing magic. It can be really wonky sometimes though, so. Some of the other mag other magic I have is Kind of good, but the DPS isn't nearly as good. We can do stuff like that. I just, I usually like to release all of. I usually like to release all of these guys, so I can. Oh my god! Are you, come on. All right. Well, I'll just zappy ray this man, and then what? Do they do they get stunned when you do that? That's really that's really odd, actually. Oh my god! Come here. So, uh, what was I going to say? Zapping him was so something that we had to hide it behind a tree. I don't know. I can't remember what my own joke. How sad. How sad. Much sad. Alright. Try. I would. It's probably smarter to just let all these guys fire at me, but I would love to be able to clear them all out right now. Just, like, get them all out there so I can, uh, get a good juggle going on. If I can even hit one of these guys, Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. Got one. Three of them. Sometimes I can't manage to keep up because my speed isn't up to par. I don't know why I've been used to seeing critical hits and, uh, beat -em up games like this. I've yet to really play a beat -em up in a while. Oh, uh, but I'm so glad this Let's Play is finally going to be over. I mean, I've enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but it's, uh, it's gone so long, like, two, I think I even added a description, wow, we are leveling up really quickly here. Uh, oh yeah, it's like one of the things that the Red Knight does, because how you level up in this game, <laughs> per hit, that should have counted. Yep, see, look, he just ran right, uh, no, but it wasn't even on screen. Anyway, um, I've been liking this project. But I'm glad to see it go because of how long it's been lasting. This guy's probably dead. I'd be really surprised if he wasn't. Okay, good. Yeah, probably dead would have been a good assumption. Okay, so let's just take care of these last two guys. Oh. You can use your shield on these. Uh, 
which I've been really forgetting to mention throughout this game, but the shield is so powerful. Like, I have not been using the shield to its maximum potential. I think I used the shield once in the uh, industrial castle. That was it. And that's kind of because you're required to. I don't know, though. I did a lot of takes of the industrial castle. It's a really good area to grind. Uh, I, this is the last of these, like, barricade areas. Uh, no. It's the last of this little section. Then we get into a later section. Beat ups are hard to commentate. Don't look at me. Because what are you supposed to be talking about? I, X, X, Y, X, X, Y, Y, X, 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 Y, Y, X. I mean, I could be doing some of the risky strats, but really just trying to keep it as entertaining and fast-paced as possible by putting as many enemies on the screen as I possibly can at one point in time. As you can see here, there are a lot of enemies on screen right now, which allows me to do really cool stuff like this. This, like doing huge wrecking balls like that, gives you a ton of experience. This character, this character in the giraffe, like, can rack up some serious experience, man. Because of, like I was trying to get across earlier, how you gain experience in this game is uh, every hit. So getting enemies into stun locks like that. Oh, okay, I had to readjust my earphone, but I guess I just got hit by an arrow. So how you would gain levels in this game, the Red Knight takes advantage of that. See how many times I'm hitting these people, 14 damage each. It's quite a bit of damage and really good DPS, but it also allows me, for every single hit I do, my experience bar goes up. I don't think you can grind like this until, because it only does actual physical hit damage and uh, when they're dead, so it doesn't count for that. I don't care if you drop money. I don't, I don't want to buy anything else about this game. It's oh, pfft. <laughs> He really looked like he was up there from just coming up at that perspective. I can see how he wasn't, though. So you can use the remains of these guard towers to uh, juggle them against. I don't care. He did not hit me. That is some bullshit game. I believe if I would use my uh, money for anything else, it'd be potions at this point. Because this character is not exactly... I don't have him with that much health. I just have him with a little bit of endurance... Which I, th I think counts for health too. It does, yeah. It's, it's the same stat. Never mind. I don't have that much endurance. I think I've mostly focused on my magic. Uh, being level 34 and all would have allowed me to max that out quite a while ago. I haven't looked at these character stats in a while. So it's going to be a shock for both of us. This candy is pretty much uh, a full health up unless you have a lot of health. Which you should have a fair amount by this point in the game. Not really looking forward to ice physics anytime soon, but we are about to get into ice physics. Believe it or not, this whole area with the snow doesn't have ice physics, which is kind of nice. I don't know. They could have gotten away with that pretty easily. Like, just had the... Ooh, full health. Nice. Oh, my God. Uh, should not be hit by these things at this point. Oop. I don't use my range magic enough. I really don't. Whoosh. get these guys out of here. I think these are the last two. Yeah. Okay. He should be dead by now. I was about to say, I'd be really shocked if... Oh. 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 I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the lightning puns I could be making in this very short time we have together. Here's the Behemoth Sword. Uh, I talked about a run a while back that uh, consisted with a full level 1 chicken run when I was playing Castle Crashers, like really intensely where I was insanely good at the game. I'm not anymore. I just got really good at it for no good reason. I didn't even play uh, online or really with anyone else. It was just kind of shit to do. I do have kind of an ungodly amount of hours in this game for someone who hasn't even played hardcore mode yet. Well, okay. I've delved into hardcore mode a little bit. What? Oh, no. Okay. We just had like huge frame drops there. And we're having them a little bit more consistently now. Uh, Skype is closed. I don't know what will be going on here. Cute little penguin. You'll be seeing him if uh, you play it anything else. There is a creature right behind here. The Obama Snow. And if you come up here with a horn where it has the horn sign, you can get another one, which is the Bipolar Bear. And the joke is really in what he does. The piebald by polar bear will attack both enemies and friends alike. If you're the only player on screen, he will randomly attack you from time to time. He doesn't do that much damage, so it's really just a nuisance. Uh, right here is a meat sword, and probably what people are more interested. Right, uh, what is the meat sword like? 
That's pretty good if it wasn't such a downer to magic. Probably what most people are looking for here is the ice sword, so I'll try and show that off really quickly. It's like right in here. Yeah, right there it is. Okay. I really like the sword. I only had it unlocked, but I, uh, I guess I should show off the stats before the sword disappears. Oh, uh, come on. Yep, ice physics. It has actually no stats, but fun fact, it is the only sword in the game that uh, has a chance to freeze enemies, and to me, that just... That makes it really perfect. So here are warnings here. You have to really listen for this. So I may be a little bit quiet to hear what's uh, going on because you have to look out for the arrows and the ice magic. This first one you get a freebie on. So you would obviously see that and jump over this. Yeah. Yeah, if you get hit by ice magic, I really wouldn't even worry about it. Okay. You can. No. Uh, yeah. I'm really bad about this. Okay. So, uh, I knew to jump over that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm really bad at this area, you guys. I'm sorry. I'll make it eventually. Uh, they don't do enough knockback. So, the closer you get... So, jump twice. What? I heard the noise like twice. What? This is bullshit. Sorry about the Facebook message. Oh my god, game! Okay, so we finally get far enough. Good god, that took quite a bit of health out of me. Uh, no one in the game is immune to uh, ice magic or immune to freezing by the freeze blade. It's, uh, except for bosses, obviously, because you can't freeze bosses for some reason. So, that's new. I think this is the boss already. Yes, it is. So, I will fight the boss next time. Thank you all for watching. Save early, save often. Hey everybody, Fuller here, 9600, and today we are going to be playing some Castle Crashers. So, in the last episode, we, uh, forgot to turn off the Audacity files, what we forgot to do. 